Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. Welcome to the start of a brand new series where we're going to be checking out the C-Block mod. Um, if you're not familiar with the C-Block mod, it uh, takes away some of the uh, cumbersome features of Factorio. Uh, things like land and resources. Um, takes those out of the picture. It gives us a nice big ocean with tiny little bits of land here and there. And uh, this nice little 2x2 two two island uh, where we have to build all of our things uh, to, to actually launch a rocket and do things all Factorio. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I needed a little break from the uh, Sushi Belt base that I have been working on. Uh, that series is not over, by the way. Um, it is going to continue. Uh, I just needed a little break, uh, needed something uh, to kind of relax my mind a little bit. And uh, I've been wanting to do a series like this for a while now. I, I wanted to do something Angel Bob's. Um, it was it was between doing C-Block and just a plain Angel Bob's run. And uh, I went with C-Block finally because uh, C-Block is a mod that, that you know, kind of gives us this situation right here. But it also integrates in with Angel's and Bob's mods. Um slightly slightly different versions of them uh specific to c block but uh we'll we'll, we'll have angel stuff we'll have bob stuff uh so we kind of get get the best of both worlds um it's a very kind of different game uh than than playing regular factorio a lot of the challenges are different um it seems right what i need right now just something to kind of get my mind off the complicating uh, sushi belts something simpler something i could sit back and relax and enjoy um, I also have some other mods installed. Uh, I, this, this is all in the C-Block pack that has the angels and bobs, all the stuff that you need in order to get that going. Um, there'll be a link in the description. Um, and I also have the other mods that I typically have, uh, the usual suspects, as it were. Um, I have my lighting mod installed, uh, my dynamic personal lights. Um, do have uh, Ghost Placer Express, and uh, Unhot also has another mod called uh, Mouse Over Deconstruct. Um, that I, I jokingly suggested one point, and uh, he went ahead and made it. Um, it's a little bit overpowered, but we're, we're doing C-Block and Angels. So there's no such thing. Uh, let's see, I've got Even Distribution, Squeak Through, um, and, and a number of others. Uh, there'll be a link in the description that, that has them all in there. And uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's pretty much it for an intro. Uh, so let's roll the intro, and uh, then we will get to expanding our little mound of dirt into the great factory that it is destined to be. All right, so we start out on this little two by two island sort of thing uh, with, with very, very little to our name. Um, let's look at our assets. Uh, we have a stone furnace. Uh, we have some iron plates as well as a burner ore crusher. Uh, burner ore crushers, um, it, it's part of Angel's mods. Um, if you're not familiar with Bob's and Angel's, um, neither am I really. <laughs> I had a playthrough of Bob's and Angel's. Uh, it was several years ago, uh, and I don't think I made it all the way through. Uh, but but I had a lot of fun with it. But I'm sure a lot of stuff has changed. Um, but uh, about the best way I the, the best description I've heard uh, of them is like whenever you're in Factorio, you know, you pull ore out of the ground and you process it to make like an iron plate, right? And then you take that iron plate and then you process it through a lot of things and where it eventually ends up as a rocket, right? Um, so Angel's mods are all about uh, putting a lot more steps and a lot more complexity in the uh, the steps before the iron plate. <laughs> uh, pulling it out of the ground, processing it, uh, and it's the same thing with chemicals. It, it modifies and makes all that stuff just, just a lot more interesting and, and a lot more complex. Uh, where Bob's mods uh, takes over from that point and then just makes all the rest of that a lot more complex. So they work really, really well together. Uh, but but anyway, the ore crusher is a part of Angels, and um, it's something we will be using a lot of here soon. Uh, but those are really our assets right now, and our liabilities are that we are on a <laughs> little tiny two by two island. But there is uh, a rock right here in the middle that, if we mouse over it, we can see it gives us a lot of stuff. And I forgot to list that on our assets, but uh, we'll go ahead and mine that out. And uh, that will give us our little helper starter pack. Um, it gives us a lot of items. Uh, it gives us a lot of iron plates, uh, some stone bricks, some lights, some power poles. A lot of these are going to be familiar. Um, some stone sticks and gears. 
as well as a lot of wind turbines, uh, which are power producers. Um, we got a lot of them here. Uh, 120 of them. Uh, that should be a lot, but they're really not that many much power. I think it's like 10 kilowatts or 12 kilowatts, something like that. Uh, we have a whole bunch of different types of pipe. Um, that is part of Bob's mods. Um, you can make pipes out of more things than iron, uh, which is handy. Um, not really a lot of difference in them logistically, I believe. Um, uh, this uh, Pipes are used in different recipes, and different recipes call for different types of pipe. But as far as letting water flow through, I believe they are all pretty much the same. Um, and uh, we've got some electric circuits here, uh, basic circuit boards, as well as electronic circuits. Uh, these are Bob's circuits. Uh, and we will be using those to build some other things. So we have a lot of stuff in our inventory, uh, but we still don't have a lot of room. And that's where sand comes in. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some of that. And uh, we'll go ahead and expand out our little empire here. There we go. Very nice. Um, there was a bug, uh, not bug, uh, uh, unintended feature. I don't know how you want to call that, um, that, that, that had to do with messing up my key bindings. I just wanted to make a note that that was actually fixed in one of the versions. So I have, I have my regular key plus and minus, uh, bindings for these. They are working and they don't conflict with anything else. Uh, thank you guys so much. You're awesome. Uh, you have no idea how much that makes my life better. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and throw some of these guys up here now. I don't know. Uh, these are kind of like, uh, I guess, two by two tiles or uh, one by one, depending. And these are half tiles, however you want to look at that. But um, I think we can do like a setup like, oh, it's not quite big enough, is it? We do like a grid, right? Or we just put that little power pole in the middle. And I'm not sure if that's optimal or not. But it makes a lot of sense to me, so I think that is the way I'm going to do it. And let's pull this out a little bit. We just need to we just need to lay down some power because we're going to need a lot of power. And uh, right now, we don't have much to use it, but we will here very very soon. And that's not going to be nearly enough. Uh, all these are not going to be nearly enough, but that'll at least get us started. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this down a bit. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what we need to do in order to uh, to get things going. Okay, so we, we've got landfill, but we're go we're going through it really fast, right? And uh, we're going to need we're going to need a lot more of it. Uh, we're also going to need things like iron and copper and, and all those other things that we need uh, oil, petroleum, things like that, just just like we normally would in a factorial playthrough. Um, so where is all that stuff going to come from? Well, it, it all comes at least from the start, it comes from the water. Um, so we need to pull water out. We need to process water, break it up into its little parts and scan the minerals off of it. And uh, we can use that in order to build our factory, at least starting out. So let's see how we do that. Um, I did a little test game, just going going a little... I didn't get very far in it, just to kind of get myself back familiar with Angels and Bobs. And to, to kind of just get a, get a feel for everything. And, and I figured all this out. I figured all this out, by the way, using uh, this mod right here called FNEI or FNE. I never know if you say an acronym or you say it in the individual letters or you pronounce it as one word. I'm not sure what the rule is on that. Like, you know, why don't we say, why do we say NASA and not NASA? Whereas um, some of them, like, like IRS, we say IRS and not ERS. I, I have no idea what that's about. Um, but anyway, um, this is a very handy mod where you can just go through and it gives you a list of all the items in the game. And um, you can say something like um, like cellulose fiber. Uh, this is something I noticed and I was not familiar with it. So you can select it. And um, this will give you all the different ways to craft it. Um, you can see there are a, one of the things about Angel's mods and, and Bob's somewhat is that there's a lot of different ways. There's more than one way to produce something. Unlike regular Factorio, there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing it, uh, which makes, makes things a lot more, more complex <laughs> and a lot more fun. We can make it from green algae, as you can see, uh, we can make it from, from that. 
um, from Zelo Squash, from uh, yeah, from Wood. There's a number of different ways to do it. Um, and we can also go in here and say, okay, how is this used? And um, going through all this, it'll give you an idea. Uh, like if we had some si sodium hydroxide and a cra assembling machine, uh, we could take and make cellulose paste out of that. <laughs> and uh, you can click the next and go through it. And, and basically, that's how I, I figured all this out. Uh, we'll probably go back to this. As I mentioned, I'm not that familiar with angels, uh, but I can go ahead and get us started. Um, so I do know in order to start out, we're going to need one of these, this electrolyzer right here. Um, and we're going to need some other items. Uh, we're going to need some flare stacks. Uh, we're going to need a liquefier. Uh, we are going to need a crystallizer. And um, we are going to need a water pump. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's all we need to get started. Oh, we might want to go ahead and grab uh, some of this cellulose fiber. Um, th this, as well as wood pellets, these are infinite uh, to kind of get you started. They can be used as fuel. And um, it doesn't have any crafting requirements. I'm assuming what it is is it's just this guy looking around in the sand and picking up little bits of leaves and sticks that he finds. Um, that is what that is simulating. Um, okay, so let's get let's get up and running. Um, so this electrolyzer here, electro electrolyzer, I, I pronounced it that way a million times. So um, that's what we're going to go with on that. Um, this guy right here um, takes in just pure water pure water that we pump out from the ocean here and uh, through the dirt water electrolysis process here it's going to take that water and break it up into slag uh, oxygen and hydrogen so basically it's going to give two gases uh, we have two fluid outputs here uh, I don't know if oxygen is red or hydrogen is red I'm not sure which one is which there Uh, it really doesn't matter, <laughs> but, uh, we, we basically can take our pump now and basically just grab that. Uh, we'll put a pipe right here. I'm going to use a stone pipe and, uh, that will suck that in. Uh, we just need a little bit of power now. Okay. That'll get those turbines going and that'll get this process going. Now, the problem is, is that we're producing two gases that come out of these outputs right here. And of course, if they can't go anywhere, just like any other like petroleum thing in normal Factorio, the whole process is going to stop. Uh, we can take out the slag, but everything is still stopped. Um, so that's where these guys come in. Uh, these are flare stacks. And uh, basically, the way what they do is it's kind of like a sink for gases and fluids or I guess I should say for gases uh, specifically, um, they go into this stack right here where they are just burned off. So we're just basically taking the oxygen and hydrogen and just burning it off. And that allows our process to continue and we are left with a whole bunch of slag. Um, so we're just sucking the minerals out of the water as we break it up into its components. And it's this slag that we will use um, in the start to go ahead and get the materials we need in order to build our factory. So let's take a look at what we need to do with that. Um, we have this thing right here that's called a crystallizer. Um, I'm just going to set it down here for now. Um, and it has a recipe in it that will take mineralized water and turn that into um, the two different components here. That is stertite and um, I don't remember what the other one is. Uh, let's see. Can we get can we get proper names here? I'm going to be sapphirite, sapphirite and stertite. Okay. And uh, sapphirite and stertite, I'd want to call them the equivalent to iron ore and copper ore because that's the way I think about them going on. But actually, it's a lot more complex than that because it's actually a mixture of a whole bunch of different ores put together. Uh, later on, we'll find ways that we can take this uh, sapphirite ore and break it up into not only iron ore, but other components. And the stertite will break it up into copper as well as other components as well. But just for right now, if you smelt stertite, you get copper, and if you smelt sapphirite, you get uh, iron. And that's basically where we're trying to get, right? Um, C block, uh, using the research tree, um, gives us kind of a tutorial 
um, the early uh, things that we get here are, are not basically researching science. It's saying, you know, just crush a stereotype. And as soon as we do that, we'll complete this research and we will get access to these items. And uh, this one, uh, we create a basic circuit board. Uh, that's going to get that research. We'll get those items. And then eventually it gets to the point where we start doing just normal research like you would think of uh, uh, research being in Factorio. Um, so our first task, our first goal is to crush some stereotype. And uh, that is what I'm, I'm basing everything off here. Um, so this is how we get the stereotype um, is through this process right here that requires mineralized water. Okay, so using FNEI, I went back and said, okay, let's uh, take a look at what we need for that. And what we need for that is actually this guy right here, which is a liquefier. We'll just put it here for now. And uh, this has a recipe for mineralized water right here. Um, this requires uh, water as well as crushed stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and just hook this uh, water up right here since we have it handy. And uh, for crushed stone, how we get that is we take this ore crusher, uh, we grab our slag, and we go ahead and uh, we throw it in here using the crushed stone recipe. So it'll take the slag, and it will take that, crush it into crushed stone. And uh, it needs fuel. It's a burner ore crusher. Uh, so that's why I grabbed that cellulose fiber. We'll just go ahead and throw some of that in there, and uh, it will get to crushing that ore. I'm crushing the slag. And we'll let that go for a little bit. Um, while that's going, I'm going to queue up some more uh, cellulose. Just because I like to have handcrafting stuff going. Um, okay, so that's like almost 50 of it. We'll take that. We'll drop that in here. That'll make our mineralized water. And that will go down here into the crystallizer where um, that will take that and t uh, pull out our, our two items here. Now, there's like 100% chance that it's going to make some of the sapphirite and like a 70% chance. Okay, it's going to make 1.1 of those 70% chance of that going out. That's how I'm going to read that. Because um, you don't always get the 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 stereotype. Doesn't always come out. But anyway, uh, and at the start, we just have to hand feed some of this stuff. So we have to throw the slag in there because uh, we don't have inserters or anything like that yet. We have to put the crushed zone in there. And we just have to do that. Now, um, somebody had suggested something about even distribution um, earlier. Um, it has this shortcut, Control-C that takes the items in your inventory and distributes them out into the factories. And it works really great for this. Uh, so I can take the slag out of here, the crushed stone out of here. I can hit control C and it'll just throw all the stuff where it needs to go, which is wonderful. Um, I don't want to put all my cellulose in there though. So we'll have to babysit that. Uh, but that gets us kind of started, uh, gets us going. We are now producing our iron and copper ore. And uh, we have enough right here where we can go ahead and satisfy this condition. Now, we can do this in a crusher, uh, just like we did with uh, with the stone. Uh, or we can actually do it by hand, I believe. Yes, we can. All right, so we went that. We got the research completed. Um, that opened up some items and uh, got our next task here, which is to build a basic circuit board. All right, so uh, a basic circuit board is right here. It requires um, wooden boards as well as copper cables. Uh, copper cables are used, uh, or just like uh, the early, they're uh, just like regular Factorio. They're made from uh, copper plates, uh, which we have some items that we can make copper plates with now. Um, speaking of which, let's uh, let's just go ahead and get that started. Uh, we'll throw some of the cellulose in here. Where did all of the cellulose go? Oh, it went in there. I wasn't I wasn't babysitting it. Uh, we'll put some of it in there. Uh, we'll take all those out. We'll do the old control C there. Take some of those items out and we'll throw our crushed stereotype in there and that will smelt over into, uh, into some copper plates for us. Um, okay, so that's the copper wire part. And uh, then we need wooden boards. 
which require paper, which require cellulose pulp, which require brown algae, Uh, I'm sorry, which require alginic acid, which requires a brown algae. Uh, so when you get an algae uh, uh, thing, an algae farm, mark one, when you get one of those going so we can make us some brown algae. And uh, let's go ahead and expand out this a little bit. And how are we doing on power? I'm not doing great on power. Um, I'm going to go ahead and expand this up one, I believe. And uh, we'll throw another layer of these up here. Um, I, I like I said, I played through um, a, a little bit past this. I played a little bit past automation just to kind of get a feel for everything. Um, so I'm kind of in tutorial mode right now, and I apologize for that because I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is more for the people that have never, never seen this mod before, uh, those that are less experienced with me. Uh, don't worry, um, here in about uh, another episode or two, I will be back to uh, normal kitsch, uh, what's going on kind of uh, gameplay. So if that's what you came here for, uh, don't worry, it'll be here very shortly. <laughs> Um, okay, so, oh, that's because it, it hasn't been crushed. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, so we've got our algae farm. Um, that is this guy right here. Let's go ahead and plop him down. Let's put him right, put him right there for now, uh, up here by the power. Um, okay, and he can make brown algae. Um, in order to do that, he needs uh, saline water. Okay. And uh, to get saline water, um, let's see, I believe we need one of these right here, which is a hydro plant. So let's build one of those. And I'm going to go ahead and build a clarifier just for, just for real quicksies. All right, so our hydro plant. Um, go ahead and put that down there. Um, this does a water purification process where it takes in normal normal water, like uh, from a pump, and turns it into saline water as well as pure water. And uh, you, one, one of the things about C-Block uh, that you always want to do is you want to keep things just as efficiently and as tight as you possibly can. You don't want to waste stuff. Um, and I'm worried that I've already kind of wasted some stuff already just by building that clarifier because there is not a lot of room here. But that is fine. We'll, we'll make it work. Um, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and make another pump. I'm sure it'll get used uh, in some other build. All right, so we'll set that pump right there and hook that up so that will get that process going all right and uh, that gives us our saline water that we need in order to get our brown algae so let's go ahead and hook that up into here uh, you're not going because you don't have enough saline uh, we don't have enough saline because we have all this pure water uh, now this clarifier is basically the liquid version of the flare stack. It just uh, sucks up the excess fluids and does nothing with them. So we just need a little bit of room in order to fit that there. Wonderful. That is now there. Um, that is going to clear off all that purified water for us that we don't really have a need for right now. So it can continue to make saline and that is going to start off the brown algae process. 30 seconds. Wow. Okay, that gives us some time to come over here and babysit this guy. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and hand crush some more of this steratite. And uh, as that gets done, we'll, we'll make some more copper plates here. How's fuel looking? Not too bad.
Ah, oh boy, this stuff takes forever. All right, 40 brown algae. Excellent. Uh, let's grab some of that. Okay, we need to handcraft paper. Okay, it says you can't do paper. Uh, we need alginic acid, though. That's the base layer. So let's get that. That's going to give us two, so that'll give us four. We need five, so we need one more. And maybe sit this guy while we're here. All right, that gives us that. That gives us our cellulose pulp that we can make now. Oh, I think it has something to do. It, it doesn't acknowledge the the infinite thing because um, it doesn't have an ingredient, so I think that's why we can't just handcraft paper and have it go, because it requires some of those items. At least that's my theory on why that works that way. Some items you can not just handcraft. Alright, there's some more brown algae. Uh, we don't use... I don't think we use a lot of brown algae here um, in the beginning. Um, so this is just kind of a big space sink for us right now. Uh, we might have to find something to do with that. Okay, so there gives us paper. And uh, once we get paper done, we can build our wooden boards. It's like we really don't need all this paper right now, but then again, we don't need all the cellulose pulp either. So... <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and do these guys while they're uh, they're a hand crafting. These things go through uh, the crushed stone really, really quick, and uh, it's not very efficient way to to mine stuff. It, it feels like uh, feels like it's going to be a slow process. Um, there are other ways. Uh, this isn't the only way to get uh, materials. At least I don't believe. I hope not. <laughs> Uh, but like I said before, like Angels has uh, a multitude of different ways to get items. So uh, I'm sure we'll explore some of those at a later date. Okay, uh, wooden boards. Uh, let's go ahead and do like maybe five of them. Actually, we could probably go ahead. Let's get the, the copper going. Uh, do we have any more plates? Yes, we do. And we can go ahead and make one of those. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Actually, can we go ahead and cancel that? Just go ahead and make one just so we can get that done. Fantastic. All right, so what did that open for, for us? Uh, let's go back and look. Uh, we got our inserters now. We got green algae as well as pipes and uh, belts and uh, gears, and we, we, can, we can actually make some things now. All right, our next task is to make uh, wood processing, which is uh, basically one uh, green algae. All right, we can do that. Um, it is made in the algae farm, Mark 1, just like the brown algae. And I don't think we're going to be using brown algae for a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of this down. Go ahead and deconstruct that and uh, use the mouse over deconstruct mod, which is cheating, yes, but oh my gosh, it's fantastic. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and set up our algae farm again, but this time... Uh, we want to set it up to make the green algae. We need 100 mineralized water as well as some carbon dioxide. All right, well, we've already got mineralized water. It's being made right down here. So if we pull this guy out and expand that down by one... And uh, let's see, green algae, mineralized water right there. Okay, so if we take an underground, will it reach that far? Oh yeah, no problem. Uh, feed that in right there. And you need carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide is produced in a liquefier. So let's go ahead and make one of those. And it's going to require some, um, what are they called? Wood pellets? Yeah. So let's go ahead and get those started. And it's going to be a while because um, I, I should have made some more uh, 
cellulose, but uh, I didn't do that, so we won't. Uh, we'll just wait for that to handcraft. Um, we'll plug this guy in right up here, um, give him some power. Um, in order to make carbon dioxide, um, this guy will produce that. Uh, it just requires wood pellets, which is what we are making right there. All right, let's go ahead and do our maintenance here. Get that all set. Um, let's see, let's just turn this crusher over real quick. We'll set it over to that. We'll just go ahead and crush this stuff down. And uh, you guys are running dangerously low on fuel. How much fuel do you have here? Oh, you have plenty. Just put that in there. All right, so that got all that crushed. Uh, we'll send you back to crushing stone. Uh, we'll send you back to smelting take all that stuff and control C to put all that stuff back in there. Um, the sapphire that will uh, smelt down into iron plates. Uh, we already have a lot of iron plates, so I'm not too concerned about that right now. Uh, power wise, we're doing okay for now. Uh, we'll still, we'll need to expand that out. Um, right now, at least early on, I mean, this is our method of getting, uh, of getting resources, like any resources at all. We, uh, basically take the slag out, we crush it down into crushed stone, and then send it through, um, this to make the mineralized water, which goes into one of these guys right here. Oh, which I don't have turned on. Um, and we're going to be doing that for a while uh, to get all the things. Uh, we can also use this crushed stone. Uh, this crushed stone is what is used to make landfill, I believe. And I don't know if I can make it. Yeah, I can. We make it sand, 10 crushed stone. It's rather expensive um, from a crushed stone perspective. But, uh, you know, it's, it's something we're going to need. That is our means. We use this not only for getting iron and copper, but also for expanding out the factory once we run out of landfill. We have 440 left. We'll see how long that gets us. Hey, wood pellets. Did we get those done? Uh-oh, where'd they go? They didn't go into a burner, did they? No? Where'd they go? Did they go in here already? Oh, they went in there already. Uh, Control-C must have pushed them over in there. Fantastic. All right, so you are making green algae? You're making green algae. That is wonderful. Um, green algae, um, it's a base for making uh, cellulose, basically. So for automating the process of uh, uh, cellulose, we can handcraft it or we can use it green algae to make it. Uh, cellulose can go into making, uh, let's see, is it wood pellets? And wood pellets can be used to make wood blocks. And eventually wood blocks will be used to make coal, which brings us to having a source of coal, which we can use to power our stuff. Um, so I think that is going to be the goal. Right now we have wind power, and uh, we still have a couple of them left. Looks like we have about 72 of them. Um, and that'll get us that'll get us a little bit, but it's not going to get us very far, because these things just don't produce very much. So um, we're going to have to get uh, steam power going here soon, and uh, using these algae guys right here, that is what's going to make that happen. All right, so that gets wood processing. And next is the sacrificial electromagnet or the red science pack, as it were. Uh, we need to go and create a lab. So um, let's see, I think we should just be able to do that, right? Electromagnetism lab. Uh, we'll get that built and uh, that will end the C block tutorial section. And then we'll get into researching stuff for reels. That will open up the boiler as well as mining drills, mining drills. Hey, you know, whatever. Uh, pistols as well as valves. Oh, nice repair packs and the sacrificial electromagnet magnet, which uh, is the red science pack. All right, and that did it. Uh, we can go ahead and put our science lab down now. Let's uh, set it right up here. Okay, and uh, can we make 10 science packs? We sure can. 
go ahead and get that process started. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really liking the mod so far. It's uh you know, it's been around for a while now. Um, there's there's probably a lot of, of playthroughs and a, a lot of things that I probably missed. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably very, very, very good at it. Um, and I'm probably making a lot of mistakes already. Um, but, you know, we can always tear it down and rebuild it. Uh, you know, I'll probably have to do that several times uh, to reconfigure things a little bit. Because I'm sure the way that it's working right now is not going to work as we get into higher levels of production. But for now, it's working fine. <laughs> we're making algae. Uh, we're making slag. We're making crushed stone. And we are getting iron and copper. Although, it it's, could, be, could be much faster. And you know what we can do? I think we can make inserters now. Oh, we can. Yeah, let's go ahead and get us five of those going. Because uh, we can go ahead and set um, the inserters to grab the slag out of here. Go directly into the crusher and the crusher directly into the liquefier and basically automate that process so we don't have to come here and constantly do this anymore. Oh, and that put those in the lab. Fantastic. All right, so yeah, let's uh, set you there. And uh, I don't know if one will be enough for that. I'm, I'm sure it probably will, right? Oh, when you're out of fuel. Um, and how are you doing on wood pellets? You're out of wood pellets. Um, let's see, we can build cellulose from the algae right now, though, and that's probably going to be a lot quicker, or at least more efficient. Uh, where is that? There we go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and make all the algae we've made so far into cellulose. All right, I think one inserter will be okay for that. Uh, probably need multiples uh, coming out of there. And that should basically go ahead and automate that process for us. And we'll put some of that in there just a little bit. I think I actually want to convert that. I think I can convert it over to wood pellets, right? Yeah. And wood pellets uh, burn. Uh, they're 12 megajoules. Um, they require 12 cellulose, which is one megajoule. Okay, so... Um, not really much savings in that process, it looks, but uh, they'll last a little bit longer. And plus, we do need those, actually, for carbon. All right, and uh, that gave us automation. Uh, let's see. I do have the auto research mod on. I don't think I want to do turrets. I don't want to do military. Let's see. Metallurgy. I want to do wood processing. Uh, that'll give us charcoal, I think. Mechanical refining would be good, too. Uh, I don't know what the efficiency is. This is a uh, crusher, basically. It gives us a crusher. It does it? Yeah, or crusher, but it's powered by electricity as opposed to being a burner. Um, it also gives an ore sorting facility as well as other things. Uh, what do we got here? Water treatment. Sulfuric waste, wastewater purification. Okay. Um, electronics assembly machines. Okay. Um, that is a uh, basically a, a different type. It can only make electronic components. And what was this? Basic chemistry. Um, that seems basic. Uh, I think I want to do coal, though. Let's, uh, well, let's prioritize that one. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I think, I don't think this is going to be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of liking it so far. It's, it's a... It's a whole new challenge, not only with the Angels and Bobs thing, uh, that, that is its own challenge, but also just kind of managing the space, um, making efficient use of it. 
there is going to be some prime opportunities for some wonderful spaghetti. And I'm looking very, very forward to it. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.